Hi YouTube family, it's Molly and today I'm here for a very quick, hopefully, um, week 29 post-op VSG update. Um, this morning I weighed in and I forgot to write down what I weighed in. So I'm hoping that I wrote this down right, or remembered it right. Well actually I'm kind of hoping I did it wrong, because what I remember uh, puts me in a game for this week. But, anyways, um, I think what I weighed this morning was 234.4, which is a 1.6 pound gain for this week, putting me back down to a total loss of 125.6. Um, you know, at this point, I really just don't understand anything. It just, it doesn't make sense. I know that my exercise has been like mediocre because I've just been like meh going through the motions and just blah but like I still don't feel like I should be gaining based off of what I'm eating and the steps that I'm still getting in the movement the exercise that I'm still getting in even though it's just kind of like nah I don't really have a goal that I'm working towards and there's no motivation to get anywhere in particular doesn't mean that I'm sitting on my ass doing nothing uh, it just means that I'm not exactly happy with the, like, not having an endpoint goal, which we'll talk about in a minute. But, um, so yeah, I'm not, I'm getting frustrated, let's be honest. Um, like, it's a 1.6 pound gain, oh well. But, like, the first five months of this, I was down every week. And at least if it stops, whatever. But, like, Gain, really? We really have to go there? Um, I guess we really have to go there. But, yeah, I, I don't know. In terms of food this week, I was pretty good. I was happy with it. Um, cut a lot of carbs out, paid attention to a lot of protein, and, you know, did the spiel, and it's been, um, been a good week for food-wise and a, an okay week exercise-wise, so like, 1.6 pound gain? Not happy about it. Um, moving on with my life. I now have a goal to work towards for exercise for the next six months. Um, I went on a rant last time about how I hate running. Guess what I did? I signed up for a half marathon in six months because I hate running. Because that makes sense. Um, I got an email from The Biggest Loser, it was like, we're coming back to Erie, you should join us. And I was like, man, 5k, I already did one of those. I might as well sign up for the half marathon. I don't know, I'm crazy. It happens. Um, so I'm trying to work out, like, what my training plan's going to be. Um, I'm going to be in Australia for two months of um, training for the half marathon, which should be interesting. Um, I'm going to be in Melbourne, so it's not going to be like crazy hot, supposedly, but um, we'll see. Um, I've heard there's a lot of good places to grow running, so um, Hopefully that'll be good. And there's also a huge pool in my apartment building in Melbourne, which is super awesome because I love swimming. So, um, I don't see that being a problem. But running outside, if it is hot, hot, might be interesting. Um, but I'm trying to, trying to work out a plan for that. Um, a lot of the plans that are out there are for, you know, I don't want to say seasoned runners, but people who can run l longer than me. Um, you know, it's like, you know, this day you're going to run four miles, then you're going to run five miles, then you're going to run four miles, and then I, I can't run five miles. I can run walk five miles, but I can't just run five miles. Um, so I'm trying, to, I'm trying to work out my own plan that is pushing myself, but isn't, like, impossible. Something that um, I'm going to be able to stick to. And not just get frustrated and overwhelmed with it and just cause me to give up. Because um, that could definitely happen. Because 13 point whatever, 1 
what is it, 26.2, so yeah, 13.1, like, that's a, that's a lot of miles. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I need to figure out something that is uh, reasonable and attainable and isn't, like, overzealous, because I don't want to uh, put myself in a position to give up, but I think it's good motivation for the next six months. Um, hopefully I can keep, uh, keep going with that. Um, this week, my plan is to not fail super hard. And I know that sounds like not ambitious. Your goal is to not fail. Um, here's the thing, I'm going to be, this next week is just so screwed up. I'm going home tomorrow, so I'm on the train all day tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be home for Thanksgiving and the Black Friday, and I'm turning around and coming back here uh, Saturday, and then my 21st birthday is Sunday, and then Sunday night I'm starting into a, like, three-day long on-duty for EMS, um, basically the entire three days, with the exception of, like, an hour gap in between going from Boylston to WPI, back out to Boylston, back to WPI, like, there's, like, these couple-hour gaps, but it's, like, I'm just, like, on EMS. So, um, so really between the traveling, the being at home for the holiday, and then work, my goal really this next week is to just not fail super hard, because it could be super easy to fail super hard. Um, so... You know, I'm not going to be too ambitious and be like, I'm going to go run half marathon and eat clean all week. Um, I'm going to try to do the best I can and push myself and stick to my eating plan as much as possible. Um, but this week is, life is, uh, and life going is an excuse, isn't an excuse for anything, um, but yeah, I guess my, my plan is to not fail super hard. Uh, the only thing I did want to say that I'm sure a whole bunch of people will have things to say about, um, I don't know what I'm, shouldn't be looking at things on my ceiling while I'm making a video. Um, yeah, my 21st birthday is December 1st. Yes, I'm going to drink. Um, no, I'm not going to, like, party hard, mostly because, um, I started a 12-hour shift at Boylston at 6 p.m. So I have to be completely sober by 6 p.m. anyways. Um, but I do plan to have a drink. Like, we're going to go out to lunch, and I'm going to have, like, a drink at lunch. So no, I'm not getting super plastered drunk. Um, it's not going to be your typical 21st birthday. But I am six months post up, um, and I'm going to have a drink. And it's probably going to be the only drink I have in, like, a really long time. But, um, honestly, I don't remember if my nutritionist rule is six months or a year. But I do remember being like, yo, my 21st birthday, I'm having a drink. And her being like, yeah, whatever, I don't care. Like, pay attention to calories, don't make it carbonated, I don't care. Um, but I don't remember what, like, the technical written rule on my nutritionist's guidelines were, but, um, you know... I'm probably, to be completely honest, probably not even going to finish a full drink. Because um, I, I have, you know, especially with the sleeve, I have no idea how it's going to affect me. And I have to work at six. So, anyways. Um, I think that is my, I feel like there's something else. It wasn't on my sticky note, so I guess you're not getting it. Um, I guess that's it for this week, guys. Um, have a great week, and I'll talk to you all soon.